He sat in on countless legendary recordings. He was Sinatra's right-hand man, played with some of the biggest names in rock and roll. He was there at CBGB's in 77, the Sunset Strip in 81. He's been on tour since 1866, and he's still going strong today. His name is Jack. Well, the work is called The Ground Beneath My Feet. And uh, it's basically sites that I've either lived in or have been associated with. Uh, the top one is uh, New York, where I had a loft, which you see here, which was down on South Street in the Fulton Fish Market. And uh, I mean, there are complex histories with the site, with the bridge. Right behind me was the World Trade Centers. And uh, this was a newspaper cutting with my building and the uh, South Tower coming down. So, you know, basically this is about a site that I lived in and I lost the loft because of what happened in 9-11. Uh, so, you know, looking at, at how a particular site gets affected by events of this kind. मुझे आपका काम बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग लगा पर मैं आपसे पूछना चाहता था कि आपकी पेंटिंग्स के अंदर इन कार्ड्स का क्या सिग्निफिकेंस है इनका क्या महत्व है जो आपने कार्ड्स इन फिगर्स पे लगाए ये दी ये कार्ड्स फाउंड ऑब्जेक्ट है जैसे ये फैमिली पोर्ट्रेट इस ये सीरीज मैंने कुछ चार साल पहले किया था और इस सीरीज है इसका मतलब बहुत सारा काम है ये अननोन फैमिलीज नॉर्थ ईस्ट से है ये पूरा परिवार सा और मैं जैसे भी जहाँ जहाँ घूमता हूँ मैं चीज़ें कलेक्ट करता हूँ मैच बुक से पाउंड ऑब्जेक्ट तो ये लगाने की वजह से ये अननोन फैमिलीज बन गया ये तो नॉर्थ ईस्ट में जितने भी बेंगोलीज है या दूसरा कम्युनिटी से है उनका आइडेंटिटी एक क्राइसिस है नॉर्थ ईस्ट में तो उसी हिसाब से मैंने ये बनाया और आपने किस किस्म का मीडियम यूज़ किया है इन पेंटिंग्स को बनाने के लिए ये मेनली पेंसिल और वाटर कलर और ये पूरा हाथ से किया मैंने जितने भी इम्प्रेशन देख रहे हैं वो हैंड इम्प्रेशन है वो वन बिहाइंड कंसीविंग द शो आइडियोलॉजिकली एंड एज अ क्यूरेटर फॉर यू द एग्जीबिशन बिगैन फॉर मी विद अ सिंगल वर्ड लिटरली द वर्ड वाज अ प्रॉम्प्ट एंड द वर्ड वाज जमीन आई हैव ऑलवेज बीन फैसिनेटेड बाय वर्ड्स दैट रिजिस्ट ट्रांसलेशन नॉट बिकॉज़ यू डोंट नो व्हाट दे मीन बट बिकॉज़ दे मीन सो मेनी डिफरेंट थिंग्स so for me it was an opportunity to convene a set of artists who have concerns with these different meanings of zameen which have emerged in different ways in their work and i've had the privilege of knowing these artists as friends as collaborators as people i've done projects with so i thought i would bring them together to look at what zameen means in terms of a claim to identity to belonging what happens to your sense of zameen if you're in the diaspora if you have to recraft a sense of belonging what can zameen mean also in terms of uh, the fruits of the earth what happens to zameen when it's poisoned by ecological devastation by war by conflict and when it produces food what are the cultural meanings of food also how do we map zameen through our memories through our fantasies so this is the reason why I thought I would bring these 15 artists together. So whether it's Atul Dodia, who is here, or Beju Parthan, Jagannath Panda, Veer Munshi, Gigi Skaria, Zarina Hashmi, and you know the rest of the list. But the point is that uh, the exhibition also becomes an occasion to have these different visions uh, ricochet off one another. 
So to the viewer, it's also a moment of being able to be in the midst of this multiple translation of a concept. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, what do you think about the exhibition? What stands out for you, more importantly? I actually was just admiring this work of Kashmiri faces. It's a hundred individual paint uh, drawings of individuals and it just seems to me to capture that spirit of Kashmir, the sense of Kashmir and it's one of very, very many major works in this show. So it's an incredibly impressive show and this is a really impressive space. I haven't been here before but there is that sense of the best of India and the best of New York and the New York art world coming together in this rather unsalubrious area which is nice. Yeah. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you.